set the date I think it's January 23rd In case you don't know And the year is 2013 Or 2013 to you Good evening everybody Please let me know what I can do Cause my name is Merton And I'm not rehearsing right for you in the moment cause I'm singing to you all and you're gonna have to sing to me back too how's it going everybody welcome to the Merton show it is yet another Wednesday night Christina M and a random dude who didn't want his name to be listed publicly. They were next to the headboard of a bed. They might be in bed or it might be a headboard on the wall you see. Cause he wore blue and she wore purple and they came on to say to me. And if I would just shut up for a minute, then they could talk to me like they want to do. Christina M. and some random dude, how are you guys doing tonight? How are you, Martin? We're Big good. fans. Great. And where are you guys in the world? Mississippi. Oh, cool. M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I. -S -S -I -S -S -I yeah. Mississippi for 5,000, please, Christina. Christina, what can I play for you? Or the random dude who sometimes is your adjacent twin. What can I play for either or both of you guys? Uh, well, my husband just had surgery yesterday, so. What do you want to sing? It doesn't matter anything. Why? He just had some surgery. She committed perjury. Christina, does your husband know that that random dude is there next to you on the cam? Cause he had surgery. He had his lower half removed. That's why he will only show his torso and up above on the camera. He had a lower half removal so he could go approval on my cam. And then he ran away with his upper half Cause that's the kind of dude he am So Christina M was left alone Cause her surgical husband was on the bone And he ran away So that he could go back to the operating room today Christina M, too bad your husband had to go back into post-operative complicated um, ramifications there But thank you for coming on anyway And for introducing us to your household and he's back. Thanks. Good luck in your recuperation, buddy. Negative dude. He's called Tyler LB, he's black and white to me Cause I turned his contrast up So that I could see him, he could rip it up Cause Tyler didn't have very many colors I turned up the saturation too But he still chose to always be so negative He's in a negative mood, he's a negative dude Negative dude He's copping a tune He's popping a loo He's a negative dude and he is in the mood. Tyler, how's it going tonight, dude? Going pretty good. Sweet. And uh, do you have any musical wishes or other type of social agenda tonight for our time together? Uh, yeah. Let me just find it. Uh, about fun, we are young. Tonight, we are young. So let's 
Negative dude, cause he's a mood for just for me. And I tried just to type staccato percussive lines for him. But he could only drink a beverage from a can that's slim. And so when Tyler is reverse contrast and he holds a saxophone or a mountain dew tonight. Tyler, I think that's a fairly accurate rendition of We Are Young by Fun. And uh, thank you for drinking Mountain Dew at me. I don't know if I've ever had, ever had anyone do that before, so that's great. Tyler, dude, uh, thanks for coming on. Negative dude, and uh, have a great negative mood tonight. Negative dude, cop on a tune. Negative dude, who's in the mood to be negative dude. Lipstick, unlike me, Lucy Edge Hill. She could see the edge of the hill, so she could kill her wrath iron foe in all the snow. Cause Lucy killed her foe in the snow for me. Lucy Edge Hill, how's it going tonight? Pretty good, thanks. You. I'm doing very well. And where are you precisely? Or, you know, not precisely, but thereabouts. Um, I'm in England. Awesome. I'm familiar with the, the region. So, Lucy, do you have any <laughs> musical wishes for me tonight? Or for us tonight, I should say, interactively, proactively? Um, yeah. Do you know Rupert Grint from Harry Potter? I'm afraid I don't. What's the chance of you playing that song for me very quickly? Is, does the technology exist for you to play the song for me? No, he's he's um, uh, Ron Weasley from Harry Potter. He's a person. <laughs> so I'm supposed to sing about that person. That's not a song yeah. request. I got gotcha. you. Okay, tell me the name again. Something Weasley. <laughs> Ron Weasley. I can't hear, but maybe someone will put it in the text chat. Ron Weasley, Juan Reasley, drinking Riesling with Juan Reesley. Cause he's Ron Weasley and he's a Beasley. He's got the measlies and the mumps. Cause he is Ron Weasley, he's a weasel to me. Cause Harry Potter is not my forte when I'm on Jeopardy. But Lucy always wins when she begins to answer Harry Potter questions for me. She is in the UK or England, as she says. In Great Britain, because that's where she has been. Because Lucy watches Harry Potter, and she is not the producer's daughter. Because she got the book I bought her about Harry Potter tonight. She is not looking at the Weasley Cause she is not Ron Weasley But if she didn't have a Tweasley Then I couldn't sing to her Lucy, I don't know what all of that was about But apparently it had something to do with Ron Weasley from Harry Potter Hope you're satisfied <laughs> Thank you Lucy, uh, thank you And uh, nice to meet you And I'll have to bone up on my Harry Potter knowledge Because uh, obviously I'm running away from it <laughs> Yeah have a good night. I'll see you later. Or a good morning, as you may be having over there. Yes.
a dude who was kind of dressed like me. His name was Alex, but he had a hat, which I don't. Or maybe I took it off, cause Alex said I'm gonna wear mine, so I said I won't. Cause it's so embarrassing when Alex and I wear the same exact thing. Alex, how's it going tonight? It's going fine, and you? I'm doing well tonight, man. So Alex, I noticed you were able to fit an actual uh, winter toque over yep. your Merton costume. That's fascinating, your Alex costume. Alex, so, uh, uh, if I were to, yes, go ahead, sorry. What's up with the typewriters? Oh, you know, I was just trying to get some of my, some of my lyric writing done, you know, because after I play, uh, play a song on the piano, I always transcribe the lyrics a, little, a few minutes later. So I'm just trying to multitask and do it at the same time these days, you know, save time so I don't have to. Because everything I perform on the show, I copyright, you know. So every show, I create 47 songs that are all then copyrighted, and I get uh, huge publishing royalties from each and every one of them to be played in supermarkets and doctors' waiting rooms and that kind of thing. So I got a good thing going here, Alex. Don't ask too many questions. Yeah, that's awesome. Alex, what can I play for you on the piano tonight? Uh, I don't know if you know that song. Uh, it's a name called Merton. It plays that song called uh, Montreal Song. You don't know that know song, that. but I do. Yeah, I, I do believe I'm familiar with the song. Yes. Yeah. So uh, yeah, you could it, sing that. Uh, you can play that song and sing it about uh, a girl. <clears throat> sorry, a girl named Gabrielle, and she has hair as a telephone cord. <laughs> <laughs> telephone cord like everyone else in 1998 cause she doesn't have cellular where she lives just at this time so she will use her hair cause T-Mobile doesn't even care Gabrielle's got some hair like Rapunzel she could make a phone call cause Alex came on and he made me sing a song to Gabrielle and she used her hair as a telephone cord Cause her follicles were quite long So she could string them all the way to Ma Bell And then she could get an AT&T connection up of her house And Alex could choke himself Cause Alex lived with Gabrielle But she couldn't call cause he couldn't tell She would just use her hair as a telephone cable now So she could make a call while Alex was out in the hall, cause that's where her phone ran when she hooked her hair up to the line. Alex, I don't really know what that means, but I believe it has something to do with your request tonight. Absolutely. Well, dude, uh, thanks for coming on again. And have an awesome night, and I'll see you next week, dude. down and then like a gangster then he clenched his fist up raised cause he never was the tankster he's t bang altar in front of the altar cause he's a bang altar boy what's up t bang altar boy how's it going merton happy i'm doing well how are you tonight New year, by the way. <laughs> I haven't seen each other in a few years. How's it going? It's been a f great, man. So, T, what can I, uh, what's happening with you tonight? What can I play for you musically? Um, listen, there's some awful lack here. I know. That's how sometimes things are across listen, the, uh, song, 
by yes. Tears for Fears called. Yes, go ahead. I'm with you. Tears for Fears. That happened. Tears for Fears song called Everybody Wants to Rule the World, and I want to rule the world tonight. So why don't you play that for me? Alter. Dude, thanks for visoring it up for us tonight. Oh, thanks for don't use don't use don't use too much visine in your visor. It can lead to problems. And have a great night and I'll see you next time, man. Shut up, he might be a talker. You never know, cause he's got a Mr. Microphone now. Mr. Microphone, I call him Mr. Microphone. How's it going, Hi. Sparky New, aka Mr. Hi. Microphone? I'm, uh, I'm okay, and you? I'm doing well, man, and where are you? I'm in France. France, beautiful. I actually lived there for a little while. Really? True story. So Sparky knew what what does your name mean or am I even pronouncing it correctly? Uh you it's okay. Uh oh, sorry, my, my English is very bad. Uh, That's fine. It's Sparky. your English is uh, much Sparky better New. than my French. <laughs> Sparky new. Uh it's good. Sparky new is good. So, what can I play for you? Do you have any musical requests that you would like me to play uh, on the piano and typewriters? I have uh, uh, one request. Uh, can you can you play uh, "Fly of the Bumblebee"? I can't play it well, but here's how it sounds tonight.
I believe that's wow. Flight of the Bumblebee. Wow. Yeah. That's the uh, the Richter transcription from 1948. I don't know if you know that version, but it's always been my favorite. Uh, very good. <laughs> Spocky New, uh, thank you for coming on tonight, and have a great like evening, it. and I'll s see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>
mind Cause she was a mime She blew my mind And she gave me an orange rhyme It kinda looks like Bert from Bert and Ernie But with a coxcomb like a rooster has Or maybe she's being devoured by an Ernie Muppet Cause she was a spaz Or maybe it's McGruff, the crime-fighting dog I'll just let her tell me right now. Timon from the Lion King. Timon! Well, now yes. I know. And you could be my Pumba. T I M O N. Period. Timon. Yes. So, mind, uh, what can I play for you on the piano tonight? Well, I hope that you know any song from the Lion King. I don't know any song from The Lion King, but why don't you sing something and then I'll play it back for you. It'll be awesome. People love it. Come on. Anything from Disney, then. Anything what? From Disney. From Disney? Anything from Disney. <laughs> some of the Lion King and next time I see you I will earn the honor of having interacted with Timon in person or okay. in Lion or whatever you, one whatever <laughs> one you. done was Timon and uh, nice to see you again and thanks for coming on bye bye I called him Cybex and he waved to me I don't know where he is but I'm gonna see He wore a hoodie and he put it up just to give me props or Maybe he's cold cause his apartment got confiscated by the cops Cybex, did your apartment get confiscated by the cops? Bacon came on with some kind of fuzzy Muppet Or is it a froggy-headed weird hand puppet? Or does he have it on his head? Is his beard turned red? Cause he is bacon and he is taking liberties with a frog Muppet doll Bacon, how's it going tonight, dude? What's up? What's up, man? Bacon, what are you adorned with tonight? What's the story? It's a silly frog hat from a store. We thought it was so cute. From a store. And my wife I thought you really might have gotten at that. Maybe I'll get lucky. Mm. Woo! She likes oh, she frogs. Oh, probably not. Oh. N-O-T. So, Bacon, <laughs> what may I perform for you on the piano tonight? Man. How about, have you ever seen the rain? Bacon Wa thought he was gonna get some Cause he dressed just like a frog I know that Bacon's wife didn't fall for it Cause he's got a lot of toys of frogs and pigs and little boys Bacon! We got a frog head gear on I wanna know Have you ever seen the pork? I wanna know Have you ever fried the pork? 
got cut like bacon at the butcher shop. Bacon, um, thanks for coming on to share your weird, freaky frog dreams with us tonight. And I hope you have a wonderful evening, and I'll see you next time, buddy. Good luck on that whole wife thing. You know, the wife thing. The issue. I call him, hey Merton, how are you? Future Broadway 9. He's got an Obi-Wan Kenobi hood. It's not really quite like mine. He's gonna suit your Broadway, cause he's got the future sewn up. Cause he's a future Broadway star, but right now he's just slumming it up on the Merton show. Right. <laughs> future. Well, dude, uh, how's your evening been going so far? So far, so good. Just relaxing, just uh, watching an amazing show online here, you know, that kind of thing. Another amazing show. Oh, crap, it's the Merton Show. Yes. <laughs> That's our new slogan. So, Future Broadway 9, uh, what could yes. I play for you on the piano if you have any musical wishes? Um... I don't know if you're familiar with the show Firefly. Um, I'm not. I'm so Joss sorry. Yeah. That's okay. I was going to ask you to do the theme song, but since you don't know the show, um, can you sing me something about um, kind of like a group of uh, people who are on a spaceship, kind of like a space western type of song for me, please? Is that what the Firefly show actually is about in real life or fake life? It is. Mm -hmm. A group of nine people on a spaceship running away from the authorities, basically, while they uh, smoke. Stuff. Nice. Firefly flying through the sky with nine people on board. It's the whole roster of the 1977 New York Yankees. Firefly. Smuggling stuff in or smuggling it out. Wherever they go, they are never without. Fireflies, fireflies, firefly. Nine people on board our mystery craft. Firefly, we got a studio audience who cried and they laughed. Broadway freezes with a big screen at me. Firefly, that's how we keep the audience happy. We just freeze them for me. Firefly, flying through the sky. Every Thursday on CBS. Firefly, I hope you're not too high. competing with the Merton Show. Oh crap, it's the Merton Show. I believe that's the Firefly theme song with a little Merton ad thrown in at the end. And Yan Yan and Mars attacks and Cody and E equals MC squared. Afghan. She's got an Afghan. She had to crochet it just like I am Cause she's got an Afghan Afghan She's got an Afghan it plan An Afghan It's not an Afghan hound It's an Afghan found at a garage sale EMC Squared, how are you? Hi I'm green, how are you? Doing well, thank you So who made the Afghan? Oh, my grandmother made it for me. 
Keep your awesome. mind on the cold Canadian nights. And it still works after all these years. It does. <laughs> so uh, what musical wishes do you have for us tonight? Um, I'm a kindergarten teacher writing report cards, so I would like you to sing a song about writing report cards to any tune you'd like. When I was a child, we didn't have report cards in kindergarten, I don't think. All they talked about was how we played blocks and if we knew how to take a drink. Cause that's all you gotta do in kindergarten, but not these days. Cause she's drinking a Pepsi so she can stay up and give them kids the grades. Cause she works for some kind of weird ass Waldorf Montessori school. The principles of Rudolf Steiner, cause she is not a fool. She's got crazy kindergarten where the kids only play with wood toys, and the girls have to sit in separate rooms from all the boys. Cause she's giving report cards out, she's failing these kids for life. So that they can't get a good university career, or a husband, or a wife. She gonna fail those kids to get revenge for the torment they put her through. Every day at nap time, they never go down, and so she has to stay up too. EMC Squared, good luck with that report card situation. I hope it works out for you. I would give them all check minus because they're little brats every day. Ugh. But uh, EMC Thank Squared, <laughs> good luck with your work, and I'm sure you'll get it done during the show, because I have such an academic vibe just to my whole scene, you know? Like, need I say more? Bye. <laughs> at that cause she's like a white cat costume kind of a hoodie but it's a little more goody cause it's got cat ears on the top cause Kimmy came on from Sweden she was never gonna beat him about the face and neck but what the heck cause Kimmy was just a cat Kimmy how's it going in the middle of the Swedish night it's going good it is awesome and what, what is new in your life? What's a recent story that you would care to share with me on the show tonight? Recent story. I spent Christmas and New Year's in Africa. Oh, really? So you went yeah. down there for the, the Kwanzaa celebrations that you are partaking of every year, as I remember. Kimmy, what was that like? It was weird, but still, you know. Africa awesome. is weird. Okay, now I know. I guess I don't need to go there. <laughs> I don't need to go there now. I know it's weird. No, but it, yeah, it's life changing. Go there if you can. No, I don't want my life changed. I mean, do they agree to change it back? If I don't like the way that Africa has changed my life, will they change it back to me? For me? So, Kimmy, what can I play for you on the piano tonight if I was going to do a musical selection for you this particular evening? My musical selection for you. What are your plans for 2013 to the tune of? Um, bad romance. Of bad romance? Whoa, whoa, whoa. My plans for 2013. Whoa, whoa, whoa. My plans for 2013. I'm going to play piano every Wednesday. That is all I got. I don't know, Kimmy. I'll play on the street, or maybe I'll play in a weird commercial. I'll play in the local pizza pub, cause I didn't even make rehearsal. Whoa, whoa, whoa. My plans for 2013 going to Africa, cause it's weird. Gonna change my life. In 
can't change it back. Kimmy, um, I believe that's Bad Romance by Lady Gaga. If I, last time I checked, that's the same, same version I've heard her perform many times. Oh, crap, it's the Martin Show. Hey, it would be like there'd someone. be like some... There'd be some bad guys, and I, it would be it wouldn't be like Superman or Batman showing up. It would be the Merton Show showing up, and they'd be like, "Oh crap, it's the Merton Show!" And then it would, I would overtake you them with my show, channel. me and my flying show. <laughs> Kimmy, what else were you gonna Urgent. say? I'm sorry. Urgent. Yes. I have some homework for you. Okay. You have to watch some Disney, please. Yes. You mean I have to watch a bunch of new Disney? That's what you want me to watch no, specifically. No, the old good one, you know, like it. Move on. Because I want you to play I'll Make a Man Out of You sometime during 2013. Sometime during 2013. Okay, well, come on the show and play it for me, and then I'll play it back. You know how the system works, Kimmy. I mean, we, I'm sure we can work out a little deal here, some kind of exchange, song for song or whatever. See you next time. he had gotten skewered he's got some teeth and that's all i know because that's all he would show me on the top of his nose because he is matt he's got a hat and he wore it because he could knit that hat for him matt how's it going tonight dude um, it's going good right now. Here, let me take off the hat first since people can't see my face. Now we feel much better. Hey. Yeah. The hat, though, is pretty cool, though. I got it all signed by three blue men, if you can see that. Wow, that's awesome. That's what the hat is. It's their signature. Yeah, uh, ever heard of the blue man group? Yes, I'm familiar. They're uh, brilliant. F fantastic stuff. Oh, do you think you could play a song from them or something like that? I'm sure I couldn't play a legitimate song by them, but I could make one up. Well, I'm in the Blue Man Group. I'm gonna give you the scoop. That I signed Matt's hat and that was my career highlight thus far Cause I'm blue man dude Cause I'm gonna be in the mood I'm in the green man group cause I'm copping a tune Cause we're in the blue man group We always take blue poops Cause we always carry scoops to pick up the blue man group poops that we Always painted blue We're in the blue man group Cause blue is all we do Who signs Matt's hat Would you look at that With our weird blue pens Cause that's all he fends And Matt showed the hat on the Merton show And that's the blue man's group's only pro Matt, I believe that's the Blue Man Group theme song that they play prior to every performance. Yeah, I guess that's your version of it. That's my version of it. Cool, dude. Well, thanks for coming on, and we'll see you next time. Pistache EOs that he ground up in a mortar and pestle just for the show. Cause he's got a Wilford family, he 
he's got a Mark Twain. He's got a Colonel Sanders mustache, so I have to explain. Dan Heck's got a white mustache tonight. How's it going, Dan? Yell, Hex. Hello there, young squire. <laughs> Dan, what character? What character is that supposed to be, or what, what area of the UK is that particular dialect supposed to reflect? That's just my posh old man voice. The posh old man, starring Dan Hex. So, Dan, what would the posh old man like to hear me play tonight? Do you suppose? He was wondering if you could sing me a song about as much as you can remember from last year, what happened on the show, just as much as you can remember in about a minute. <laughs> I remember a dude with a pixelated head I remember Dan Hex at Halloween I remember Alvy always dressing like me Except when she was to Toro the scene I remember Rachel as a zombie chick I remember Ashley when she quit smoking I hope she made it till now No pressure, Ashley I remember K2 Don't see him much these days And Corncob McGee and Daniel all those dudes out that way and I remember everybody who came on when I sang I remember Kristen dressed as Kim Rudd and that's all I can explain Cause Dan Hex came on with Ryuna from Bradford sometimes and then a dude named Tom come on from the Ren Rhymes sometimes Bacon or maybe Katie or maybe Jesse Pinkman but that's all I remember because that memory does stink, man. Dan Hex, I believe that's everything that happened on the show last year. Oh, that's brilliant. That's brilliant. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, cool, Dan. Thanks for coming on to be a posh old man with us tonight. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Something ocular sinister. He survived Flotilla Godzilla 2012. I can't quite read with that speed. I survived the Umbrella 2012. He was always himself. He was ocular sinister. He was a minister and he administered drugs to me. Ocular sinister. He was not minister because he survived Umbrella 2012. Oculus Sinister, how are you tonight? I'm good. I have a song to play for you. And what will that be? Will that be? Oh, yes, please. Very nice, dude. Very awesome, nice, man. Nice. Well, thank awesome, you. Man. Thank you. So, so Oculus. Oh. Chess oh. Boxing. Oculus. Yeah, go chess ahead. Sorry. Boxing. Have you ever heard of that? No, what's that? Chess. What? Chess boxing. It's a hybrid. Chess boxing. Sport. It's a hybrid of chess and boxing? Hybrid of chess and boxing. You play six rounds of chess, five rounds of boxing. <laughs> Alternator.
While I was out Botoxing Oculus Sinister was out chess boxing He was playing chess So I could just confess He was singing to me About chess boxing You see He was head full of toxin Cause he was always chess boxing Five rounds of chess And three of hockey And four of Yahtzee And five of cards Cause you gotta play all the sports Remember them all to make it twice as hard It's weird chess boxing Weird chess boxing Weird chess boxing all the time So that we can make up this very rhyme Cause we got a square chess board On which to practice our footwork to shadow box And we got a 3D chess set So that we can go chase the fox Even if we use a little Botox On the chess boxing field tonight Oculus Sinister, I believe that's the chess boxing theme song 2013, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's it, pretty much. So, dude, thank you very much for coming on. It was good to see you again, and uh, good luck in the chess boxing tournament this, this fall. I hope you make it, man. Hope you make the cut. <laughs> Always sits around while mom does the dishes Cause to not do his chores was one of his 2013 wishes Said mom I got a great idea you do the dishes from now on And I'll just watch the Merton show in hopes that he will have me on Mom you might want to use palm olive to clean out the oil of the bottle of olive Cause I gave you some new dawn So that you could do the dishes all upon Spick and span, cascade tan Cause Cody's mom uses all the detergent she can Cody, how's it going tonight? It's going good Any night that mom is doing the dishes instead of me and you Things are going good, I always say Mom, we got her to do the dishes again. She fell for it. Can't believe it. <laughs> Cody, what can I sing for you tonight? Uh, have you ever seen the movie Dr. Horrible's sing-along blog? No, I haven't. I've seen uh, advertisements for it or something. I may have seen, yes, I believe I saw a trailer or something of that sort. Oh, okay. Well, I, Sorry. I would like you to sing something from that and I do have it pulled up this time because I didn't want another musical lecture if you want to hear it. <laughs> Cody allow me to lecture you musically if I may. <laughs> yes you may play the song Cody please. Okay. And what's this song called? It's called Laundry Day. L A U N D R Y D A Y Laundry Day Special needs, anyways, with my freeze way I will. <laughs> Dishes day, Cody plays, cause he never does the chores around the house. Cause mom will do them for you, 
till you graduate and then you gotta buy a mouse so that you can do the dishes cause that's all that Cody wishes it's Dr. Horrible give me food and he sang a song cause it's laundry day even though I got it wrong if I sang it then the probably will go I'm singing Dr. Horrible today Laundry day Cause I'm singing while Cody can play Laundry day Doing laundry I may wash and dry Maybe take it to the dry cleaners instead Laundry day Cody, I believe that's the song Laundry Day slash Dishes Day The Cody edition 2013 the director's cut the director's Only cut because i box set. i'm directing the blu-ray i'm all <laughs> cody i'm not really directing a blu-ray but anyway i think you understand what i'm saying uh thanks for coming on dude and i'll watch some dr horrible because obviously it's worthwhile What's up, dude? You look surprised. Bring the ruckus came to your eyes. What are you bringing? I'm bringing the ruckus. What are you bringing? I'm bringing the ruckus. What are you singing? I'm singing the ruckus. What are you going to? I'm going to the caucus. What are you bringing? I'm bringing the ruckus to you. Bring the ruckus. How are you doing tonight, buddy? I'm very good. Where are you in the world? I'm in Australia. Australia, cool, man. All the way around the world from where I am. Doing. Bring to Ruckus, what can I sing for you if you have any musical wishes for our time together tonight? Uh, do you know anything by Radiohead? Yeah, what Radiohead song would you like to hear? Uh, just anything. <laughs> This man, he talks in maths. He buzzes like a fridge. He's like a detuned radio. Come the police. Arrest this girl. Ruckus, that's uh, the best radio head approximation I can come up with at this particular time. But thank you for coming on all the way from Australia, and I will see you next time, dude, and have a great day.
Joey And she came on my screen And she sang, or maybe I did I forget which one of us she was And which one happened to be me As Chloe could clearly see She smiled at me and that's all I asked from her Chloe, how's it going? Fine, thank you, how are you? I'm doing well, and where are you? I'm in England. <laughs> England, beautiful. I like it there. So, Chloe, uh, what can I perform for you? Do you have any musical wishes or anything you would like me to make a song about? Um, could you sing about things that annoy you? Things that annoy me just off the top of my head when the airplane stops and everybody stands up in the aisle right away. When people take much too long to stow their carry-on baggage in the overhead compartments. That annoys me all the time that I fly. What annoys me is when I go to a table in a restaurant and they only have 14 packets of sweet and low on the table and I need 23 Cause that's how I make dessert That's why my teeth hurt I'm eating sweet and low everywhere I go Cause Chloe gave me sweet and low for Christmas That is why the restaurants I'll dismiss I don't know what it means or what her scheme is But Chloe likes to know what annoys me all the time. Chloe, what annoys you particularly? Um, most of my friends' Facebook status updates. Ah, oh, yeah, you don't care. You don't care about them enough. No, that's, I don't. That's the problem. Never. <laughs> I understand. I know how it goes, believe me. Chloe, thank you for coming on all the way from England. And I will see you, you next time and have a wonderful day or night or whatever you're planning. Yes, go ahead and say the word vitamin. Oh, it's too late. Okay. Chicken and Dude, Mike and Gio, they were called, at least tonight, maybe they were Gio and Mike, that's how they like, even though they were hanging in front of a piece of abstract artwork upon the wall, Mike made it out of ceramic and terracotta last summer, cause Mike lives in Santa Fe or maybe Taos, and Gio is going across to Abiquiu to his house. They're gonna have a barbecue and abiquue of mouse. You're gonna have a barbecue and abiquue of mouse. Mike and Gio, I'm sorry, where are you guys for real? And when I say guys, you understand I mean man and woman. Man and woman. Uh, we're from South Texas. South Texas, awesome. So you're guarding the border for all of us so we can all sleep safe. I feel like I can sleep safe with you guys down there keeping an eye on everything. So you guys, what can I sing for you tonight? Do you have any musical wishes that you would like to? That's okay. Now is a great have, time. We have uh, three cats, and uh, they all seem to hate each other. So something about that. What are their names? Chucky, Precious, um, and Garfield. Garfield, Chucky, and Precious. Yeah. Okay, now while I perform the song, I want you guys to see how many of these cats you can get onto the screen simultaneously. Chucky and Garfield and Precious, they were always specious. We're gonna get a big cat fight on the air, cause I'm giving conflict, I don't care. Cat fight on the Merton show tonight. Hello Precious, or is that Chucky that I should be so lucky? Cat fight on the show tonight. Chucky and Precious and Garfield are on the show tonight. I don't think all three could get in there. Mike's trying to start a fight. Mike holds Chucky, and Chucky is lucky that Mike is using an uppercut. 
But Garfield's got a good right hook with big ass claws, cause that's how he likes. It's cat fight. Cat fight. Cause they are kissing their cats. At least the two who are mellow enough to be held. To come up to the screen to lurk at me and glare. Like the felines do. That's great, you guys. I love having multiple cats on the show. Thank you. Mike uh, and Gio, thanks course. so much for coming out. Oh, yeah, go ahead. No, uh, I'll just say we can't make them fight because um, we don't want to be like Michael Vick. <laughs> yeah, I think it's against the law. Cat fights, you got to look out. As long as people aren't betting on it, though, I think it's no problem. Cats, baby, baby fights, it's all fair game. As long as there's no money <laughs> transmuted, no money paid, it's all legal. Mike and Gio, have a great night. I'll see you next time. <laughs> One more guest. Who will be next? Who will be first from now? Who will be last somehow? One more guest to the test. Who we ask is up to the task. Cause they gotta wear a mask or open up a wine cask. Cause they're gonna be up to the task. Yodi Maru had a lot of action figures. Yodi Maru had a roster dude with weird big teeth for a headgear. Yodi Maru, a little Cubert alien just to haunt me. Yodi Maru, how are you doing tonight? Doing pretty good. So, dude, what can I perform for you on the piano tonight? Do you have any musical wishes or anything? Uh, maybe a song. Like, do you know the Pokemon theme? No, I don't. Uh, what's the chance of you playing it for me? Or somebody, I think, played it last week, and I was amazed that that was the Pokemon theme. It didn't sound like what I ever expected it would sound like. I think I can play it. Pokemon, it's a handheld game. I'll make up a song with the Pokemon name. Yodi Maru, he always borrow my lawnmower and he don't return it. Pokemon, I'm gonna poke you, man. Pokemon, cause I'm going to song. Pokemon theme all across the world. Pokemon, a story about a little Pikachu, or was it Achu? Pokemon, it's a handheld game, and it is one of the Japanese fame. Because Japanese people like to make little plastic things that we get addicted to. Then they will own us and then they can stone us When we go out in the town square with our Pokemon games Pokemon games Pokemon names Pokemon games for me I believe that's the Pokemon theme, Yodi Maro. So there you have it. Dude. Thank you so much for coming on tonight, and uh, it was a pleasure to see you, and uh, enjoy your evening, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. See you, dude. Good night, everybody. Thanks for coming on. You make the show. If it was just me, it would be kind of boring all along. But you guys come on, so there's a little variety. And then I had to sing good night so you can see. If you come on my show, then I'll make you wealthy and famous beyond your wildest dreams. Cause that is my scheme. For all of you, I'll make you famous and wealthy. Hurrah, you say good night, everybody. See you next time. Everybody, thanks a lot for coming on again. And I'll see you next time. And have a wonderful evening. And uh, you guys take it easy. Have an awesome time. In the meanwhile, until I see you guys again, I hope it's a great time you're having. And uh, 
just remember that uh, I'll try to uh, 